Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. And on today's episode, I bring to you another from my mixed case of proper traditional ciders for you guys. And this cider today is... A yellow belly cider. Now, once again, as I say, this is from the mixed case that I got from the proper traditional ciders off of Cider Club UK. So, uh, once again, I am looking forward to doing this one. Um, before I get into any great detail of this, though, let me just give you some slight little tidbits of information for you guys on yellow belly cider. Yellow Belly Cider comes in these 500 milliliter bottles and naturally that is the only way that you can get it as well. Now the alcohol percentage is 6.8% so we're getting more up to the strength of the traditional ciders out there. Now once again it doesn't actually say if it's a dry or a sweet cider so I can't tell you that right now. Now the price of it once again because it comes in a mixed case I can't tell you the exact amount you can pay for a single bottle but I reckon it works out around about 2.87 for this bottle so not too bad if you ask me. All right, there's the paperwork out of the way. Now, as you can probably tell, this is a uh, this is quite a simple design. I mean, um, I think it's just the printing job that's made it appear slightly less professional than it is. But uh, it's got um, artwork from an actual artist that has designed the uh, front of this bottle, and um, obviously that just gives each individual cider from this company, which is uh, Churchill Ciders. You can find uh, them online if you do a search. But it gives all their ciders a bit of a bit of a character to them. I think there's only about three of them on the website actually, and one of them is only available for friends and family. So it's either this one. I think the other one was called Scavenger, but I'm not sure. Now, as I said, this is a bit of a stronger cider as well, and apparently, according to their website, it does have natural sediment as well. Sometimes there might be more, sometimes there might be less. Now, um, I've let it settle at the bottom, like it said for me to do, so um, I'm hoping that this is going to be rather nice. Apparently it's a uh, lightly sparkling one, as it says on the front, slightly sparkling, uh, made from 100% fresh pressed apple juice. Um, and I've actually just seen, even though I didn't know whether it was medium or dry, it does say right at the bottom it is a, supposed to be a dry cider. So uh, there we go, I correct myself on that one. Um, there's no information on the back, as you can tell. Now, obviously I don't know what it looks like, so I'm going to have to pour it out into the glass. So, let me just get old yellow belly open. Hmm, that came off nice and easily. Yeah, there's, uh, there's the slightly sparkling aspect to it. Now we go, let's just get a little whiff. Ooh, yes, that does smell, that does smell strong. Ooh, blimey. Cool. <laughs> Attach your nasal passages, really, that one. Ooh, boy, yes. Very, um, yeah, very, uh, very dry smell to that. It's got, um, that bitterness to it as well. Hmm, yeah, I reckon they've definitely used a bit of sweet apples for this. But, yeah, 100% fresh pressed apple juice, so... Here we go. Let me pour this into the glass. And, because it does have a natural sediment to it, I'm going to go and pour it slightly slowly. And there we go. There's the old fizz as well. Now, hopefully I won't disturb the uh, sediment too much. Apparently, if I do, it will turn into a cloudy cider. So, um, we'll see how it actually turns out when I get it all into the glass for you guys. But from the looks of it, it's looking quite clear to me. There we go, just going to get the last few bits in there. Aha, there we go. Right, let's have a little old look at this, shall we? Well, there we go, because, um, because like I say, it does have natural sediment in it. It is quite a cloudy side, though. You c I can't actually see you guys through that. But uh, it's a bit of a pale cider. Very light in colour, but yes, as I said, quite cloudy too. But there's, um... A lot of bubbles for it being slightly sparkling, so um, there we go. Right, let's see how it smells in the glass. Mmm, yes, it still has that um, still has that strength to it, but you can definitely smell the proper apples in it. You can definitely tell that this is made from real 100% apple juice. You can really, it's got that really nice apple aroma to it. So um, here we go, <laughs> yellow belly cider. Let's see how you taste. Oh, yes. Ooh, wow. Mmm, zingy. <laughs> that is, that's very dry. Definitely got a very dry character to it. It's got um, oh, a real zinginess to it as well. Very tangy. Um, very juicy aftertaste as well. The, the real 
taste of the apples is really coming through on the aftertaste, I've got to say. Uh, let's just get a second opinion as well. Oh, yes. Mmm. God, it's making my mouth water. That's very juicy. Very, very juicy, I've got to say. But, uh, yeah, like I say, it's dry. It's dry, but <laughs> dry but juicy. How does that work out? But, um, oh, yeah. Now that I've taken that second sip, the actual um, aftertaste of the apples is really starting to flow through now. And that's really nice. And it has got that little bit of um, zing right at the back of the throat as well, which just actually really completes this taste very well. Mmm, yes. I'm liking this yellow belly cider, I can tell you that. Mmm. Mmm. But even though it's dry, it is very light. It's not uh, it's not full bodied. It's uh, a very light and easy to drink cider as well. But you can definitely taste the strength of it. You can definitely tell this is um, one of the stronger traditional ciders you can get out there. But um, overall, the whole package just really complements each other really well. Just um, the juicy the juiciness of the apples and the strength and the dryness and the tanginess just all complement each other so well and they bring off a really nice tasting cider now I've got to say the uh, the front of the bottle doesn't really leave leave much um, to be desired to be honest I, I, like I say I think it is just um, the printing job that's happened on this one but it does look quite well low quality but having said that that probably just like I say gives each individual bottle of the cider its own character so uh, there you go it's actually got um, the website on the bottom of the bottle as well if you want to check the guys out but uh, yeah you, if, just do a search for Churchill Cider and you'll find them out but um, yeah if you do definitely check these guys out Churchill Cider if the scavenger one that they do is as good as this one then um, I would highly recommend them hmm I'm just gonna get a final taste for you guys hmm yeah that is just a very very nice tasting cider, it really is. So, having said that, I am going to go and give old Yellow Belly Cider here an 8 out of 10. Oh yes. Yellow Belly Cider, you've got my thumbs up, that is for sure. Like I say, check the guys out. And um, yeah, hopefully Scavenger is just as good as these guys. Unfortunately, I haven't got that to try for you guys, but you never know, I might get it one day. But yes, very, very well impressed with Churchill's Cider and their Yellow Belly. I'll definitely be getting it again, that's for sure. And that was another episode of The Cider Drinker for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and as always, I shall be back another time to bring you another delicious and tasty cider for you. But until then, I'm going to finish me off this little bottle of Yellow Belly Cider. Hoo-hoo, what a corker. Take care, guys. <laughs>